hello everyone and welcome to Bahrain 2016 preview. Um, let's start with um, Ferrari revenge from a time mistake from Melbourne last year. Uh, last year, sorry guys. Um, from Melbourne at the last race. Because um, Ferrari had technically won the race at before Alonso's crash with uh, Gutierrez. But, um, and then they, they, they fucked up the strategy. But can we see a Ferrari winning this race. I'm expecting a strong Ferrari to be honest. Um, first with Vettel because um, looking at the results from the last last race, finished 9.6 behind knowing he fucked up the strategy, knowing he spun at the second last lap and still finished just just behind Lewis Hamilton which was 8.1 seconds behind his teammate Rosberg. Um, I'm expecting Vettel to be there, but also Raikkonen, who unfortunately DNF last race, um, as he did last year as well at that, at that particular track. So, um, yeah, Ferrari, I'm hoping Ferrari um, will be right there, and maybe not pole position or anything, but being there strong and um, doing the same kind of race without the stupid mistake as they did in Melbourne, because that's what people want, that's, that, that's good for the show, that's important for the show. Um, if we now move on to, um, I'm going to move to Haas. Um, can you, do you think Haas can repeat P6 or better, or do you think that is not realistic? Um, how much luck do you think there was in that result in Melbourne? Um, so um, Haas repeating P6, I honestly think it's going to be difficult. They, they, I think yeah, they got quite lucky in Melbourne because, um, for example, Ragnar DNF. Um, Kvyat did not start. Um, these, these are the two main that could have been ahead of them. But um, and then, well, for example, Verstappen was held up by Sainz for the because because of uh, a pit stop mistake at Toro Rosso, uh, he finished behind him and got held up the whole time. Um, so yeah, I expect Haas to finish maybe about P8, P10, still in the points, but nothing much more than that um, as we were talking about Verstappen um, do you think you'll have a better luck uh, is there a rivalry a big rivalry um, between Sainz and Verstappen so last year already um, there was quite some rivalry because Sainz um, was in some way left aside because of the phenomenon Verstappen who, who was just 17 at that time doing a great job so um, I think Sainz to to some extent he's he's a bit jealous and um, so he does everything he can to cover up his teammate. Um, Verstappen, I'm, I'm hoping for him he's got better luck because if Sainz hadn't held him, um, at least first of all if the pit, the pit stop were not, was not failed, uh, I would have seen uh, Verstappen maybe, um, if we say 10 seconds ahead he would have been P6. So. Um, even 15 seconds ahead, it would have been P6. So that would have been a great result for for Verstappen. And um, yeah, so that's it. And now moving on to Renault. Um, last race they finished 11th and 12th with Palmer ahead of Magnussen, 83.4 and 85.6 seconds behind Rosberg. Um, can they get their first points here at a Bahrain? <coughs> Um, if they get lucky, I say yes. Um, it would be important for them to manage to to go uh, better than Haas at this race. Because um, I mean, if we take off Haas from the top ten from the result from last race, Palmer would have a point. Let's not forget that Raikkonen and Kvyat did not finish, and Kvyat didn't even start. So. It's going to be difficult for Renault having their first points right here, so, um, yeah. Now moving on to the last um, little subject we wanted to treat here in this um, uh, Bahrain preview. Um, is Red Bull still going to be in the mix like they were here with uh, Ricciardo doing very well, um, getting in fourth, like in, in no man's land really, because it's like 15, almost 15, yeah, 15 seconds behind Vettel, and he's got a, a 35 seconds before Massa, so um, 
he's he's in some like no man's land. Is he still there or or is he gonna be lower? Was he was he just doing give a taking absolutely everything, squ squishing everything out of the car because he was at home for for the fans, or did they just get lucky with strategy or? Or is, is that what they actually can do? Because um, obviously we don't have really two drivers to compare. It's like it's like for Ferrari, there was better luck there. Raikkonen we don't know. <sighs> well, Raikkonen wasn't doing that bad before he retired. And Kvyat, we have absolutely no clue because he's not even started. Even if he was from uh, quite back, he hasn't started. So um, oh yeah, Kvyat was 18. So yeah, shame for Kvyat. But um, report. Is it still going to be up there, or rather with Massa and Hulkenberg, Bottas, and in the, in the big midfield battle, let's say? Um, I think personally they'll, they'll be they'll be there in the, in the fight. I think they got lucky with Ricciardo, but we'll see we'll see at the, at the end of the race because maybe I'm just doing a massive mistake. So so yeah. And this concludes my little Bahrain 2016 preview. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and share the video if you liked it. I've been Doreen. Hope you enjoy the rest of the day, and I'll see you guys next time.